Today, San Francisco City Supervisors waded into a year-long debate over the next incarnation of probably the city's most famous theater. NBC Barry Sergio Quintana joins us live outside the Castro. And Sergio, what did the Board of Supervisors decide? Well, you know, the Castro Theater was actually designated, I should say, the exterior of the Castro Theater was designated as a historic site in 1997. Uh, 1977. Today, the supervisors agreed to preserve the interior as well, except they did also approve a last minute amendment that would basically allow the operator to make some changes to seating. By a pretty clear majority, supervisors agreed that it was necessary to keep the Castro Theater as a viable venue you in the city. For 101 years, the Castro Theater has endured earthquakes and pandemics. It's been a rallying point for countless protests, film screenings, and live performances. It's one of the city's last large old-time movie palaces, but most people these days stream movies at home. Supervisor Asha Safai says that's one of the reasons why the Castro is in trouble. Unless we're talking about the opening night of The Matrix or some opening night of a Star Wars film, you're, you're not able to fill that theater. The latest proposal by Berkeley-based Another Planet Entertainment involves removing the floor seating and installing a series of levels leading to the stage. That would allow for standing room only space for concerts. But APE also proposes adding mechanized steps that can extend so that cinema style seating can also be brought in for film and certain live entertainment events, something critics and some preservationists are trying to block. Today's amendment that would allow for changes was proposed by Castro District Maybe. Supervisor Rafael Mandelman, who says neighborhood merchant groups support the new operator's plans. I think they are concerned about seeing another uh, vacant property in the neighborhood and um, don't actually think the APE is a project is a bad one and in some cases think it is a very, very good one. Board President Aaron Peskin opposed the amendment. He supports preserving fixed seating in the theater and quoted former Castro Supervisor Harvey Milk. Too often we have taken down landmarks long before we realize that they would be landmarks. Before today's meeting, a small group of demonstrators also voiced their opposition to removing the Castro's fixed seating. If they remove the seats and they flatten the orchestra and then it is a failure as a music nightclub, then the interior has been destroyed. By a vote of six to four, the supervisors approved Mandelman's amendment, which would allow another planet to make seat changes. So now nearly everything inside the theater, including moldings and chandeliers and frescoes, is going to be designated to be historically protected. But this doesn't necessarily mean that this whole situation is resolved. Another planet still needs to go before two more commissions and possibly another meeting of the full board of supervisors before starting any proposed renovations. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.